you're doing a Rydberg related equation, uh, it's going to be related to the Bohr atom. So the Bohr atom, there's some nucleus and there's orbits going around that nucleus. One, two, three, four, etc. So this would be the value of n, the orbit number. And so you and your buddies at home can make up your own questions. So you would, you would just have to know what the initial orbit is and what the final orbit is. Uh, so does somebody want to, let's make the initial orbit larger just for fun. Anybody want to pick an initial orbit? Twelve. Twelve? <laughs> Maybe a little smaller, but that's cool. Six. You can do that at home. Let's do six, that's fine. Okay, anybody want to pick a final orbit? Two. Two, okay. So then you'd apply the Rydberg equation. And you can calculate the energy required for this uh, change of orbits. Okay? okay? And this would be for a single electron system. And so let's plug in 2.179 times 10 to the mi minus 18 joules. That's the Rydberg constant. And then an initial, its initial starting place is 6. So we'll go 1 over 6 squared minus 1 over 2 squared. And I'll have one of you calculate this so we can actually see the numbers. And this will get us uh, energy. Okay which could be a really common question that I could ask on the exam. So the constant will be given to us? Constant will be given on the back of the exam for sure, yeah. Uh, and a variation on this is I could also ask you what the wavelength is or the frequency. So if I ask that, you need to remember that this could be HC over lambda, which energy equals HC or energy equals H nu would be given on the exam and C equals lambda nu would be given on the exam. So you would have to know you could put it all together Wow, in this equation. Uh, did anybody get this answer? Do you have it? Okay, so there's the energy. What does this minus sign mean? Is energy released or absorbed? Released. Released, yeah. So this just means released. For me, this negative sign is irrelevant and actually kind of messes you up later in the calculation because you can't have negative numbers for a wavelength or uh, frequency, so I'm going to ignore it. I'm just going to remember that it means release. That means energy is given off from the atom itself. Okay, so let's do a little more calculation. Let's say we wanted to find lambda. If you want to find lambda, that's... Uh, HC over delta E. Just cross multiplying a little bit. And so that would be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. That constant is given. All the constants that you need will be given. Times C, 2.9979 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And then divided by uh, delta E, and this is where I need the positive number, because the negative number is going to give me a negative wavelength, which wouldn't exist. So 4.84 times 10 to the minus 19. And I'll have one of you geniuses calculate this for us as well, so we know what the wavelength is. Uh, what we're going to do after this is a similar question was asked before. We'll figure out what kind of light it is that's given off, and if we could see it or not. Okay, so we'll combo with a question we saw just a bit ago. So tell me when you're ready and I'll, I'll write down the answer and we'll see what it is. Okay, 4.1 4.1 times 10 to the minus 7? Yes. Okay, so I guess that's meters. And my scale, unfortunately, is in nanometers, so I want to do a little bit of conversion uh, because I'm the one I'm looking at uh, just has nanometers everywhere. So I'd say, oh, there's one meter in uh, 10 to the 9 nanometers. So I'm going to multiply 10 to the minus 7. It looks like I'm going to get 410 nanometers. 
First of all, well, does anybody know, without me saying anything, what color it would be? Violet. Violet, so you can't see it. Okay? Sometimes you'll get a number that you can't see, so the answer would be, whatever, microwave, and you can't see it. Uh -huh. yeah. So we want to know the conversion factor for meters and nanometers. Uh, for me meters to nanometers, that's an SI conversion, so I'm assuming you know all that stuff. Yes, so that would not be given. No SI conversions will be given on the exam. You need to know how to go mega, nano, micro, all that sort of stuff. Yes. So is that part of the formula given? The HC over that? Uh, if you're talking about exam, yeah. uh, this equation would be given. The uh -huh. equation H, uh, energy equals H nu would be given. Uh -huh. And the equation C equals lambda nu would be given. But to put it together would be up to you. And you can oh. see I've already posted the back page of the exam, so you can see what that looks like. Yeah. Um, so when we derive an answer for the energy, yeah. um, and if it's negative, for our answer on the test, would you like to just disregard the negative sign and say energy is released, or just put a positive number, or? Uh, I wouldn't care. Yeah. Uh, uh, Probably one or the other would be necessary. Either you show the negative sign or you write the word released. Or the question is how much energy is released. And then you just need a value for it. But if you did future calculations and it was a negative here, you better get rid of that negative sign later. Or that would be counted incorrect if you got a negative wavelength, for example. Yeah? Uh, when we solve for the change in energy, how many sensors are we OK. The good question, six and two, those are both uh, exact numbers. So you're just limited by this value right here, which has four. So we could have had one more sig fig here, which means we could have had actually one more sig fig down here. 